Travis, uh, what teams have you talked to so far? Uh, I've talked to a majority of different teams. Um, I had a lot of a lot of meetings that went very well um, with with a lot of different teams. Uh, met with you know all 32 of the Shrine game and, um, here, so uh, a lot of different teams and. I've enjoyed every single one. What has this process been like for you so far? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's it's definitely a test mentally, um, and it's it's a grind. But um, you know, that's that's what I love. I love football. I love everything about it. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and I uh, just enjoy the ride. You mentioned the Shrine game. Just what did you learn? Take away from that experience? Yeah, you know that that was an awesome experience for me and all the other guys. Um, we we had the Patriots staff as um, as our coaching staff out there, and we learned we learned a lot. Um, just kind of how how a pro practices um, and, and little little bits of uh, the offense and you know how to read different defenses and, and uh, different stuff like that. So it was an awesome experience. I really enjoyed it. What are your goals for the combine? Yeah, just just to come out and compete. Um, I think that's something you know I strive in is being a competitor um, and, and everything I do. How does playing for a program like Nebraska prepare you for the next level? Yeah, it, it does in many different ways. Um, you know, coming, I, I started out at Rutgers, made the move to, to Nebraska, and, uh, you know, we had a great coaching staff, great support staff. My dad was there. My dad's a college football coach, so um, having him along my side the whole way um, has really helped me, um, you know, with, with reading coverages, you know, practicing plays, being in the weight room, just, just all aspects of uh, being a college football player in Nebraska. Um, has really helped me prepare, uh, be prepared for this moment. Travis, can you talk more about your dad? Was he a coach growing up? Tell us about your relationship with him. Yeah, you know, I look up to my dad. I want to be a coach whenever I'm done playing, uh, whenever that is. So, um, you know, he, he's coached at a majority of different places. My uncle is Terry Allen. He's, he's uh, been a coach at Iowa State, Kansas, um, Missouri State. My dad is there. Um, so football just kind of runs in our family. So, um, you know, I've grown up around the game and, and enjoy everything about it, love everything about it, I live for football, um, and, and I'm just really grateful to be here. When you look back on that decision to transfer to Nebraska, is that a decision you're glad you made? Uh, yeah, you know, I don't regret anything I've done um, with, with changing schools. Um, I've enjoyed enjoyed the whole ride. I wouldn't change anything if I had to do it all over again. And um, just just thought it was a great, great move by me. Travis, you, uh, last year with Scott Frost, left in the middle of the year, yeah. what, what did you think about the culture, especially having your dad on staff? Mm -hmm. uh, what, what was the Nebraska culture like? And there's been a lot of discussion from Matt Rule about changing the culture. Yeah. What are your opinions about that? Yeah, so um, with my dad being a football, a college football coach, you know, I understand how the business rolls. You know, if you don't win games, the staff's going to get fired. So um, when they were let go, you know, it was really personal for me. Um, but um, it is what it is. It's part of the business, you know. Um, the next thing as a leader on the team, being a captain on the team, we had to make sure guys stayed together. Guys weren't trying to, you know, transfer right away, go their own ways, divide the team. And that, that's something that, you know, Garrett Nelson, who's another uh, captain on our team, and I, we sat the guys down and, you know, we sat with them and talked them through things. You know, if guys wanted to quit, we, you know, we tried, tried to have them stick in and stay in, in the program. And just, we had like six or seven games left in the season, so we couldn't just give up on the season. Um, but, you know, we, we sat them down and, um, you know, personally I thought the culture was, was great inside the locker room, man. Everyone was close, um, you know, it's a brotherhood. Um, there, there weren't any problems in the locker room at all um, with all those guys. And I think our game against Iowa, against our last our, our last game of the season, just, just tells you something about the team that we had, the fight that, that that program and that team we had. You know, Iowa has a chance to go to the Big Ten Championship. A team like us comes in, no one's giving us a shot. We've had a lot of adversity throughout the season. Our coaching staff got fired. We get an opportunity to go out there, knock Iowa out of the Big Ten Championship. We get it done, send the seniors off with a win, um, give give the program a win in the next year. Um, so it, it just tells you something about the culture and the team that we had um, last season. And, um, you know, the, the team never stopped fighting. And guys played for each other. Guys played for Mickey when he was there and, and the coaching staff that took over when Frost, when Frost was fired. So I, I, I really um, thought the culture culture was fine whenever we were there. Um, but, you know, I, I wish nothing but the best for those guys. I think Coach Rule is going to do a great job um, and with his coaching staff and, and the program. Travis, have you had, you had a chance to talk to the Steelers at all? Um, I've talked to them a little bit, yes. Formally or informally? Uh, informally. What are if you could talk to any NFL player, dead or alive, who would you talk to and why? Uh, Gronk. Um, you know, I, I love watching Gronk's film. Um, I, I kind of resemble my, 
my game after him. You know, he's a big um, physical dude that, you know, can, you know, demolish guys in the run game and then big body guy who can make catches um, down the red zone and basically anywhere. So, um, you know, I, I love watching Gronk's film. I think it, it's awesome. It'd be awesome to meet him. I love his personality. He's a goofy dude. Um, I think it'd be sweet to talk to him. Travis, so, speaking of Gronk, have you met with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I have, yes. Was that a formal or informal? Uh, informal. Uh, yes. What, what was uh, what was that conversation like for you? Yeah, just you know, we were just talking about you know, like, like all informals, um, you know, just just getting background information and stuff like that. Um, so um, yeah, I met with them and it was a great conversation with them. Travis, if I'm going to spend the draft pick on you, if I'm a general manager and I pick you, what type of player am I going to get? Yeah, you know, you're going to receive a guy who's a hard worker. Um, you know, he's loyal. He's unselfish. He's going to show up and do his job every day. Um, he's going to push push his teammates and himself to be the best player out there. Um, you know, it, it's all about the team with me. Um, you know, as a captain in Nebraska, I think my leadership is, is great. Um, you know, it's as a young young guy in college. You know, I was kind of a lead by example guy. Um, really, really filled a role in being a vocal leader um, whenever um, I got to Nebraska. And, um, yeah. I, I, I think I bring a lot to the table um, and, and could do a lot of good. This your best season. attribute heading into the league, and then what's the one thing you got to work on next time? Yeah, you know, I, I think I'm, I really take pride in my run blocker. Um, as a tight end, you know, there's a lot of tight ends out there that want to go out and just catch balls. So I take a lot of pride in doing the dirty work and, you know, in line and being physical, blocking on the perimeter, and then, of course, going out and uh, catching balls in open space and using my body and being a big, big body target. And um, something I think I need to work on is just my pad level, being a, being a tall guy, um, you know, at times you tend to get high. So um, that, that's what I think I can work on. This past season wasn't the easiest for Nebraska. What mm -hmm. did you learn from this 2022 season? Yeah, um, you know, it, it was it was a struggle at times. Um, it, it was hard. Um, but, you know, I, I learned that, you know, you just got to keep fighting with everything you do. No matter how many times you get knocked down, you know, how many times, you know, things don't go your way. Um, no matter how many times, you know, we lost close games. Um, you just got to keep fighting. Um, that, that's something with the locker room at Nebraska. You know, no one no one gave up um, when, we, when we were there and, um, this past season. The guys just kept fighting. Guys were there for each other. So just continue to fight and, you know, continue to give it your best every day, and eventually good things will happen. We've seen a couple of the Northwestern guys here already have been yeah. combines. You guys faced them in Ireland. Yeah, what, was that, what was that experience like when yeah. we used to play football? Yeah, so I, I trained with Tommy Wall down in Florida. Um, first of all, he had a great combine performance. So happy for him. And, um, you know, first couple of days we were there, he was giving me some crap about them beating us and us being their own, only win. But, um, yeah, it, it was awesome. It was, it was a great, you know, great opportunity to get out to Ireland. I'd never been outside of the country before. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, it was great down there. We were down there for a week. Did a lot of cool things. Um, you know, I'm a huge golf guy, so seeing the different golf courses around and um, just, just the different culture um, was something that was really cool. And to piggyback to the previous question, as um, far as the negatives, what was the positives of this 2022 season, and have you met with the commanders? Um, yes, I have met with them. Um, and, you know, there, there were um, a, a lot of positives. You know, like I said, guys just continued to fight. We stuck together. A lot of adversity. When adversity hits, you find out a lot about someone, um, you know, if they're, if they're going to give up or if they're going to keep fighting and uh, stick together. So I think that's something that was huge for us and um, had, had a lot of uh, benefits for us um, as, as a locker room and culture at Nebraska. Who are some of the up-and-coming players at Nebraska that people should be looking out for next year? Yeah, um, you know, you got Casey uh, Thompson, our quarterback, who is there. Um, you know, got a bunch of O-linemen, a bunch of D-linemen. Um, you know, got a couple of receivers. You got Marcus, um, who's one of our receivers. And I know they brought in a bunch of transfers. I don't, I don't know about them too much. Um, but uh, um, I'm sure the, the program's heading in the right direction, and I'm super pumped for those guys. Who's the, who's the uh, toughest edge rusher you ever trying to block? Oh, man. Um, you know, there's a lot of great ones in the Big Ten. Excuse me. Um, you know, Tommy Wall is really good at Northwestern. Um, you know, I, I had to go against him the first game. Um, you know, just a big physical dude. Um, and, uh, you know, I, the, the, coming straight out from the season, I didn't really know what to expect. You know, we go out there. It's, we're in Ireland, like we talked about. And, um, you know, you don't really expect, um, know what to expect. And you go out there and you got Tommy Wall lined up, head up on you. You got to block him. He's a big, strong, physical, fast dude. He's, he was very powerful, powerful, and um, yeah. And then, I guess one of the linebackers, you know, I, I got to throw out the name Jack Campbell. Uh, Iowa. You know, as much as Iowa and Nebraska go back and forth, um, he's you know he's an unbelievable player. He was probably one of the toughest linebackers I've had to play against. Have you met with Indianapolis at all? I have, yes. Are there any uh, particular just coaches, teammates from your time at Nebraska who really made a big impact on you? Yeah. Um, you know, coaches. Um, you know, first off, my tight end coach, Coach Beckton. 
Um, you know, I, I give all credit to that man. You know, he's an unbelievable coach. He cares about us outside of football, and then when it's time to do football stuff, he's very, very detailed in everything that we do. Um, you know, and then my dad being there, you know, he's been my role model forever. And having him on staff at Nebraska was something special um, that I'll never forget. And a couple of players, you know, Garrett Nelson, um, one of our other captains, um, unbelievable dude. You know, most hardworking guy I think I've ever met in my life. Um, you know, always there for the team. It's all about the team, never about him. He's a home, homegrown Nebraska kid. Um, it, it's just different for those guys um, back in Nebraska because that's all I have is Nebraska football. So, um, yeah, just, you know, Garrett Nelson is one, one of the best dudes I've been around. And, um, you know, I, I think we we went at it every day in practice. You know, he don't line up against me. And, um, you know, we, we definitely made each other better.